Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, we have part two. Um, from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I invited everyone in the group to share their weirdest bolo. And I got to tell you, I just did part one and there were some amazing bolos. Some super weird stuff for sure. So this video is super fun. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And the awesome part is these items came from the Facebook members. They actually sold these items. And some of them have a cute little story to go along with it because these items are weird. Um, if you are a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel, I will shout out your YouTube channel or your eBay store. If not, then it will just be a, uh, I'll just show the Bolo, okay? Um, and you'll remain anonymous. So don't worry about coming over and sharing and having your name all over YouTube. I won't do that. Only the people that are Bolo Buddies members will get that shout out because they have signed up for memberships. Okay, so the first one, speaking of memberships, comes from Reselling with Honey. And she has an awesome YouTube channel. She's newer and she's getting ready to take a break to move, but definitely subscribe to her because I have a feeling she's gonna be bringing new content once she gets moved. But she is a bolo finder, you guys, check this out. Literally like a wire hanger with 10 pumpkins. Paid $12 at an estate sale because I liked it for myself. No mark markings, identified with Google Lens. When I realized it was Department 56 collectible, I stuck it on the door, took a picture, and threw it up on eBay, and it sold within a few days. It sold for $145, you guys. So it's basically like a hanging um, mobile, mobile, you know, kind of like the wind can catch it, I guess, if it was outside or not wind chimes, but you know what I'm saying. It hangs and moves. Oh my goodness. Found him at the Goodwill bins. If you don't know what the Goodwill bins is, that is when people dig through the bins. I've got some videos of me doing that if you want to check it out. And they buy things by weight. This is um, a Pee Wee Herman. Uh, found him at the bins, had scratches, wasn't working, paid a dollar, and sold him for 35 on eBay. So even though it wasn't in perfect condition, it still sold. Okay, so this is another one from Reselling with Honey, and I'm going to show it to you because it is most definitely weird. Uh, just one, she said, and I'm like, it's usually just one, but some people share more than one. I'm good with it. Um, this literally fits in the palm of my hand, and it was broken. Paid $3, sold very fast. You can tell this brand by the way it is sculpted and oftentimes will be signed, but it's hard to read. If the piece were not broken, it could go as high as 250 some more rare pieces go for 800 to 900 but then other pieces only go for a few dollars so you really need to be to do your research so it looks like this one um is a turkey and it needs repaired and it's still sold for 125 dollars on auction um it says vintage artisania i'm gonna pop it up here rhina rhine Kanaata? Kanaata? I don't know. I can't say that. Are you kidding me? But anyway, be on the lookout. Um, I wish I had the, um, like, how it's signed so I could show you guys. Okay. Paid $2 at a flea market and sold it for $80. Um, it looks like it's an Hermes scarf. Um, Hermes is pretty much almost always a bolo, you guys. Uh, definitely be on the lookout. Um, Let's see. What is it? Um, it's a scarf. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wrote, what is it? I thought it was a scarf, but I guess it could have been something else. Okay. Found it at the Goodwill for $3.99 and sold it for $135, you guys. Okay. Again, with the words. Are you kidding me? Okay. Yayoi Kusama. Yayoi Kusama. We're going to go with that uh sculpture pump soft sculpture pumpkin plush cushion so it's some sort of like pumpkin looking plush it's yellow and black which is weird um but it sold for 135 dollars you guys and the buyer paid shipping so i couldn't how um believe how much these cobbler's nails went for 61 to an international buyer on auction they were in a box full of tools and supplies a shoemaker would have long ago Bought the whole box at a central Wisconsin estate sale for $5. So these nails probably didn't even come to a dollar. Buyer paid shipping and left nice feedback. So yeah, you guys, they're old nails. Fun little bolo. And that was an auction, so pretty cool. 
paid less than two dollars at a yard sale and this might be yours uh, it looks like maybe you reposted it so i don't know what happened to the first one because this is fine uh paid less than two dollars at a yard sale unless you had the picture with no details that could have been but it looks like you added the details. So this is a Polaroid 664 instant pack film. Sold for $109.99 plus, and the buyer had free shipping. All uh, right. The next item, bought a German nativity carousel at a Wisconsin estate sale for $12, but there was one candle cup missing. So I took it all apart and sold the parts, candle cups, wood blades, painted nativity figures, hexagon base, and these Latisse fence pieces. They went on auction for $33 and the buyer paid shipping. So you guys know that when I get something and it's missing pieces or it's broken, I will part it out. I have lots of videos of me parting things out. So that's what she did with this. I've not done that. I do have one of these sitting in my garage. So if it's missing parts or doesn't work, I may be doing the same thing. I've been selling the heck out of karate and kung fu magazines, total bread and butter, but getting a lot of multi-item purchases. Got them in a storage unit, so next to nothing in them. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Jack's Treasures. They buy storage units. This is their channel. Definitely go and check them out. These are the magazines that they're selling. Um, so it looks like three of them sold for a total of $32.40 and free shipping. Now, the thing is, it's unexpected. You know, it's like something that's really easy to list and people will purchase multiples. A lot of times people will put these in big sets also and sell them in lots. Okay, the film that expired in 2012 was found for free at a share -a at my daughter's church, sold for 77 to a buyer in China who also paid shipping. So it looks like it's expired film and expired film does sell well. Um, I'm gonna have to say that it probably still works. I don't know, it's just like old ink. It's like they put an expiration date on it, but people still buy it. Um, got at the Goodwill for $12, regretfully decided to auction, sold for 100 plus 18 ships, still a nice profit. Okay, it says, oh my, U-L-R-C-A, or U-R-L, oh my, let's try this again. U-L-R-I-C-A, Yulrika Heidman, signed flower vase by Costa Boda Scandinavian Glass. Wow, that is really, really a cool piece. Got this for free from a neighbor. It was just seal, a sealed VHS that was worth, wait, it's not just a sealed VHS that are worth money. Box on this was beat, or I'm pretty sure I could have gotten more. Okay. Um, oh, they're saying it's not just sealed VHS. I read it wrong. So they're saying that even though they're not sealed and they're still a little beat up, you can still get money for VHS if you can find the right ones. This one is called Murder in Texas Front Row 1990 VHS, Andy Griffith, Farrah Fawcett, and Sam Elliott. It says rare. It looks like it sold for $25 free shipping. Paid 50 cents for this in at a Southern Alabama rubber rummage sale. Just sold it for $27.15. Going to Puerto Rico, buyer paid shipping. So this is a four speed wall control. So it's one of those things that, you know, has like the toggle. So $27.50 plus shipping. Got for $2 at a thrift store, eight used Denny's restaurant kids breakfast meal cups, you guys. That is definitely weird. Buyer was all in for $28, and I love it. Um, love, love, love the weird ones, for sure. Paid $3 at a yard sale, and it looks like it is a vintage... Sorry, this one's really small. Wooden rods and blocks, four complete sets. I cannot read the brand. I'll pop it up, but this sold for $105. And it looks like they got this one, 15 at a yard sale, sold in one hour. I listed them too low. This one is Trapping Package Duke 
coil spring kit, coyote, bobcat, fox, otter. I, I don't know if it's a trap. I don't, some type of trap. I know big bear traps are a major bolo. I don't know what this is, but it's a bolo. $139.99 free shipping. I paid $2 at a yard sale. I didn't even know what it was. I don't know what it is either. Kelway Soil PhD Meter Acidity Tester Box Manual Instructions PH Reading. So it sold for $40 plus shipping. Okay, this is a big one. Are you ready? Paid $35 at a yard sale and it sold for $450 plus shipping. Rare Vintage 1950s Martin Red Ball 1 cent, 5 cent parking meter. You guys, it's part of a parking meter. How cool is that? Okay, uh, paid $2 at a yard sale. High Dow XPDS 18 Tens M's Pulse Massager Pain Reliever Muscle Stimulator. Never used. Sold for $80. Again, I mean, anything that's, I think that's new old stock. So always look up the barcodes and stuff. Okay. One of my first big sales that got me hooked on reselling. I only paid a dollar at a yard sale and it sold in less than a week. It is an antique under glaze advertised New York and Rhode Island cold cream pot lid, you guys. Sold for $149.99. And it looks like it sold August 30th of 2020. So I don't know if this seller's keeping like a little... Um, uh, like kind of like I do with my videos, my what solds, like I'm keeping like a little time capsule. Maybe they're just doing that with their photos. Okay. Bought for my husband to, to have some rain gear when he is on the road, got the set at fill a bag rummage sale for 50 cents. The whole trash bag was $5. Needless to say, when I looked it up, it went from my husband's to listed in a hot minute, sold in three weeks. How many of you guys have actually bought something for yourself, looked up comps and been like, oh, I don't need it that bad. I do it all the time, but I don't keep a lot for myself. Um, like I'm keeping this necklace. I got this out of a mystery jewelry lot and it's so cute. It's like a little elephant. So I am keeping that. I'll probably sell it eventually when I get bored with it. But anyway, this wind rain suit sold for $150 plus shipping. All right, the next one. This is definitely interesting. I found this in a bag of Christmas ornaments where I wanted a certain one and had to buy the whole bag. So basically it was free since the one ornament more than paid for all of them. At first I thought it was the, um, the Death Star, but it wasn't. I have no idea what it was, who would want it, or why, but I listed it and it sold for $10.91. So is this a big money bolo? No, is it a bread and butter bolo? Yes, but what's great is when you list something that you are not sure if it'll sell and then it sells and you're like, what? Um, so check it out, you guys. It just looks like a handmade, like, I don't know. It doesn't look fancy at all and it's not, but you know, nice little uh, bread and butter bolo there. All right, zoo morphs, snap together pieces to make animals. The box had one end torn off. Two different sets were in the box. I separated and sold as two listings. Sold box set for $69.99 plus shipping. Loose set listed for $49.99 plus shipping. Customer paid $119.98 plus shipping. Um, paid $5.99 for these. These are really cool. So they're zoomorphs, pets snap together. So they're interchangeable. Um, it says River Dolphin Toys 31 piece. So it looks like you can snap them apart and make different creatures with them. Because of groups like this, I guess we're doing one more. I dug under my sink and found this perfume. I purchased it in the early 90s, sold for full asking price. So it is in... Um, I was gonna say Hermes because it looks like that, but it's Aramis and Hermes is actually spelled like Hermes. <laughs> so this is A-R-A-M-I-S, New West, Central Desert Nectar Skin Scent, Vintage Rare and Discontinued, $288 plus shipping. Looks like it sat under the sink and never got used. So 
uh, definitely a bolo. So on eBay for perfume, if it is vintage, it has to be brand new or you can't sell it from what I have been told. So I took all of my vintage perfumes down. Um, I'm not sure why the, the rule has been implemented. It didn't used to be. A lot of people like to buy the bottles. Um, so definitely make sure you check the eBay rules before you list perfume. But again, this one doesn't look to have been used, so it's probably new old stock. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to head over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and go to the announcements featured section if you want to be featured in one of these videos. I should have two or three postings where you guys can share your bolos for that month. Um, I do, I usually leave them up for a month and then pull them down and do the videos. So this is part two. I'm getting ready to work on part three. Um, hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you're not, um, if you don't have the bell turned on, if you turn that on, you'll get a notification from YouTube when I post videos. That way you'll never miss a bolo video. You guys, I have tons of bolo content. That's what my channel is all about. If you shared a bolo, thank you so much. Um, and thanks for watching.